Welcome friends, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an interactive PowerPoint presentation using a trivia game as an example. Once we're done, players will be able to play the game like this, where they click on a category, science and tech. This will bring them to a landing page for that category where they can click on a number to get a specific question. Here's our question, they'll answer it, and then we wanna come back home, maybe try another category here back home, and so forth. Let me show you how I built this. And just to call out before we get started here, this obviously is not limited to just making games. If you have something more business oriented, like an agenda slide that you wanna link up, or a dashboard slide where you wanna show high level and then go into more detail, this is a really nice way to navigate through that. All of these things that I'm about to show you can be done in any kind of scenario. But back to our trivia game. Let me just walk you through what I have. I've put together some basic content here. Our landing page for the game is this one. And this just has some icons here for the different categories. These are shapes and then some text. So super, super basic. And then for the categories, I've got a landing page where the player will come and click on a number, which will take them to one of these other pages. For each of the question numbers, I've just used a darker green color here so it's obvious which page we're on and then I've got landing pages for the other two categories. I haven't built out questions for everything, but we'll hook up the navigation to make everything interactive. All right, let's start by hooking up the category landing pages. To do that, I'm just gonna click on the white icon here, and we need to link it. To do that, just right click, go to link, and you wanna to link to a place in this document. We're currently on slide three, and the science and tech category landing page is slide four over here. So we'll select slide four, it gives us a preview. That's what we want. So click OK. And then we need to do the same thing for these here. Let's make sure we can see these slides. Now I will just note a potential gotcha. If you're tempted to group this icon with the shape behind it, you actually aren't able to link. You'll see that option is grayed out. So you can't have more than one thing selected. So I'm just gonna choose the icon, so they'll have to click on that to navigate. But then the same steps, link. Here we wanna go to slide eight. That's the landing page for the places, questions. And then finally for entertainment, this one down here is gonna be slide nine. So same steps, right click, link, slide nine, and click okay. All right, I'm gonna do a control S to save, and then let's just play this to see what we have so far. I'll click on the slideshow icon way down here on the bottom right to start from this slide. All right, so let's start with science and tech. There we go. Now we don't have a way to navigate back home yet. That's my icon up here, but you do get the standard PowerPoint navigation icons down here on the very bottom left. If you click on the back arrow, that'll take us back to the slide we were just on places, and here we're gonna have to back up through the other questions, and entertainment, that's working perfectly as well. I'll just hit escape to get out of slideshow mode. All right, back to our first page here. This one's basically done, so let's work on the next slide where we need to link up this home icon so we can navigate back to the main page for the game. Same steps here, I'll just right click, link, and this is gonna to go to slide three, that home page again, and click OK. We need to do the same thing for the other slides. I'm gonna copy this, so make sure you have that selected. Control C to copy, and then I can actually just copy it into this slide in place of this one. So I'll delete what's here, paste in Control V to paste in the one that already has the link. So that link gets copied over with the icon. You could, of course, also just manually go link everything like we just did, but just to save myself some clicking, I'll delete and paste that one that we had on the clipboard. Same for this slide and this one. Okay, let's quickly test that out. I'll just test it from this one here, slideshow mode, and back home. Perfect. All right, escape. The next thing we need to do is link to these specific questions. So when I click on this, for example, I should go to this question for science and tech questions. As you might have guessed, we'll be using links for this as well. 
here, go ahead and select the text. And then same thing, link. This should link to slide five and okay. Now you'll notice the formatting changes here to that darker blue and the underline because it's a hyperlink. That's the default style for hyperlinks. There are ways that you can change that style and you can also get rid of the underline if you don't want it to look that way. For what we're doing, I'm gonna leave it that way, but if you want me to do a video about that, let me know in the comments. All right, same steps for the second question here. Again, just right-clicking, link. This will go to slide six, our second question. And then finally, same thing for question three. And this will go to slide seven. Okay, and that's it for linking up the questions. I didn't add questions for these categories, just in the interest of keeping things simple, but you take exactly the same steps. Let's test this out to make sure these are linking correctly. I'll just click on number three, let's say. That takes me to the new slide, and this one has the three in the darker color. If we go back home and come back here, you'll see that that is purple, and that's the default style for a visited hyperlink or a visited URL. So that is one benefit of just using the default style. It's easy to see which questions you've already chosen. Okay, I'll hit escape to come back to this slide. And we're almost done. The last thing we wanna do is just add a little bit of pizzazz with our slide transitions. So to do this, just select the first slide, and then you can hold down your shift key hit the last slide, so that selects everything in between, and then we're going to apply some transitions. These are pretty fun. So up here on the Transitions tab, I played with a few different things that I liked. The one that I settled on was called Switch, and you'll see a preview there. I think it kind of looks like cards, like you were playing a card game of trivia. You can hit the Preview button up here again to see what that will look like. There's other things you can try as well, though, so feel free to peruse. This peel off one is kind of fun. Sort of looks like you're peeling off a page. There is also an actual page curl, like you were reading a book. So try out different things here, find what you like. I'm gonna go back to the switch though, for that card kind of effect. And now let's take it from the top. So I'll go into slideshow mode again. And let's come to science and tech. Give me question number one. All right. So the player would answer the question, then we go back home. Maybe the next player also selects that category. You'll see that questions one and three have already been asked, so you would know to click on number two in this case. Space shuttle question, back home, and so on and so forth. Going to entertainment, just like that. So that's it, that's how to make an interactive PowerPoint presentation, which is pretty fun. You can apply this to lots of different things. If you enjoyed the video, you might enjoy another one that I did about design tips in PowerPoint, ways to make slides like the pros do. Thanks so much for watching.